everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine and I'm here today with this week's Friday Sews video. So I skipped a week last week. Ah, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Life gets in the way, Taylor wasn't sleeping very well, things got a little bit busy, I had to cover a shift at work, I didn't have time to film, all of those sorts of things. So this is like a fortnight's worth of Friday Sews. I hope that's okay with you. So, Every week on Friday Sews, there is a question that we are encouraged to discuss and talk to our viewers about. So this week's question is, we are almost a month into 2024, how is it going for you? And have you had a good start? So it doesn't specify that this is sewing related. So I'll kind of talk about it in a couple of different ways. I do feel like I've had a good start to 2024. There were a couple of things that I wanted to try and do in January just to kind of reset and focus on me and focus on my health really and that sort of thing. So I've been doing yoga every single day and I can't believe I've actually done it every single day up to this point. It's the 26th of January now and yeah I've done yoga every single day in 2024 which I'm really pleased about and I can definitely feel a difference. It helps with my mind, my sense of calm. I can also feel a difference in my body so the different poses that we're doing as part of that. So I'm following the yoga with Adrienne 30 days of yoga which is on her youtube channel i will link to that down below the poses that we're doing as part of that i can definitely feel that i'm getting more flexible and able to sort of hold poses for longer or hold them with more flexibility that sort of thing so yes that's one thing that i've been doing that i'm really pleased with another thing is i haven't had any alcohol in 2024 so i just wanted to have a little bit of a reset and just look after my body a little bit and that was one of the things I decided to do so I'm, I haven't called it dry January as such I know a lot of people do dry January I haven't called it that as such but yeah I haven't had a drink in 2024 so my body does feel good for it I am looking forward to a glass of wine or a glass of Prosecco I do have to say I'm not going to be doing that straight away as soon as the clock strikes midnight on the 1st of February however I do have a couple of social plans in February and I will look forward to having a couple of glasses of wine on those occasions I feel good for that reason I've been really focusing on the gym and also my diet so I'm feeling good with those things I actually measured my waist yesterday and I've lost an inch off my waist since the start of January, which is amazing. It's kind of not necessarily the area I wanted to lose it from, but you know, <laughs> it'll all work out in the end. But yes, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling healthy, I'm feeling strong. So in terms of those things, things are all good. In terms of sewing and YouTube, so I did want to get at least one video out every single week and already I've broken that, but like I say, life just gets in the way and if there is no time, <laughs> to film because of other things then these things happen and I just need to be you know flexible with that and not worry about it too much. In terms of sewing I didn't really set huge goals I guess. I did want to try and tackle some works in progress which I don't think I've done so far <laughs> but I will work on that. I haven't been adding my patterns to Stash Hub yet. I have I've added a couple. I will get some more added to Stash Hub. And I did want to try and find some dress patterns that I really wanted to sew up. So that is a work in progress. I have actually bought a couple of dress patterns and I'm going to be sewing them up soon. So yes, that is ongoing. So I feel like 2024 has started well for me and I hope it started well for you as well. So I guess I will stand up and show you what I'm wearing because I am in all me made today. So I'm wearing one of the things which is my first completed make of 2024. So let's stand up and show you. On the top half I have a Friday Pattern Company Elysian bodysuit. This is just in a black cotton lycra jersey which is a stuff of Denmark. Really lovely quality from First for Fabrics. I wear this all the time. It's such a versatile piece because I can just pair it with so many different things with it being plain black and then this is my Bernadette skirt so this is also a pattern by Friday Pattern Company it is made in this lovely Czech cotton polyester blend which was in the So Haley Jane December subscription box so I've made the mini version you can see I've just got it on with tights here I spent a lot of time <laughs> pattern matching these checks and I'm really pleased I did. I would have been annoyed if they weren't matched up. 
My zip isn't particularly invisible, as you can see here. I need to work on that this year. <laughs> Definitely need to work on invisible zips. I think I just wasn't brave enough in terms of getting it close enough to my needle, like the zip teeth in my needle on my machine. That was the problem. I did press it beforehand to you know, open it out a bit more, but I was just a bit nervous, that's all. So I think it's only the second invisible zip I've ever put in. So I'm not mad about that. I think it's not too bad a job. <laughs> You've then got this lovely little belt bag on here, which is just adorable. So I just had a little try to see if my phone fitted in there. It doesn't fit in the zip compartment, but it does fit just, it's a very snug fit in the button compartment at the front there. But I love this belt bag and actually, this belt can come off and be worn with other things like with my jeans, which is great. The waist of the skirt has ended up a little large. So I'll just show you if I just undo the belt. It has ended up a little large. I made the size medium, but like I said earlier, I've lost an inch off my waist since starting this pattern. So that is why, but actually because you've got this belt here, I can really bring that in. So I can cinch that in there and it gives the look that I want. So I'm really, really, really happy with my Bernadette skirt. I love it and definitely want to make another one. I'll talk about that a bit later because I do have a plan and a fabric that I'm going to be making another one very soon. So yes, what do you think? Do you like it? It's given slight <laughs> school uniform vibes possibly with it being a check, but I love it. I think with a pair of Dr. Martens on, I would be very happy going anywhere in this outfit. So yes, Friday Pattern Company just knock it out of the park every single time for me. I love their patterns and yes, they can do no wrong. So like I said, that is my first completed make of 2024. My second make, so the thing that I worked on next was the Adele top by Sew Over It. This is a free pattern if you sign up to the Sew Over It VIP club for 2024. It only costs £10 to sign up for the year and with that you get a voucher code for a free pattern, so any pattern from their history of PDF patterns. And you also get a free pattern which is the Adele top, which is a lovely jersey like knit top a low scoop at the front, a low scoop at the back, long sleeves or elbow length sleeves, very close fit in. And I really like the look of that. So I signed up in a heartbeat. I downloaded the top and I got it sewn up the other day. It's not a complete success. Now I'm going to go into more details about this in my makes and favorites video, which will be out next week. I used this cotton jersey for my stash. So it's just this rainbow stripe. I have no idea where I got this from possibly sew me sunshine but honestly I wouldn't like to say it. I have no idea it was from so long ago actually the label I put in says from the stash because I've had this fabric a long time I made the elbow length version I haven't finished this so you will see overlocker thread tails so yes I made the size 12 which fitted my measurements exactly I made the elbow length version I took 10 centimeters off the length of this because I held it up to my body <laughs> the pattern pieces and kind of decided where I wanted it to finish because I knew I would always tuck this into high-waisted jeans or a skirt not this one specifically but I would always have it tucked in so I thought there's no point using all of that extra fabric and having all of that extra bulk of fabric tucked into whatever I'm wearing on the bottom half so I just took 10 centimeters off and I didn't use the length and shorten line for that I decided to just take it off the bottom because I thought that would work I wasn't changing the proportions of it I just didn't want the extra length at the bottom so that's why I just chopped it off the bottom it's not a complete success I love the shape of the body it fits me really well the shoulders and the sleeves are too big so I think what I need to do is go down to a size 10 on the arms like the sleeves and a size 10 sort of at the shoulders and the armholes and then I need to grade that body down to a 12. I think that should work. With this one, I'm just going to take some out of it. So obviously it's all attached already. So I think what I'll just do is take some of that seam out of the sleeves and possibly take some 
extra out of the shoulder seam here and just see if that makes this one a little bit more wearable. I mean, it's probably wearable anyway, I'm being a bit picky, but it definitely felt like the sleeves were too big. So yes, that's what I'm going to do, but I definitely want to make another one. And the fabric I wanted to make another one in, but I love so much and didn't want to risk it on the first go, which I'm really glad I didn't actually, because if I'd have made it and not loved it, I would have been really disappointed. But it's this fabric here, which is this incredible cotton jersey from First for Fabrics. Bex from What Bex Sews has made, I think, a Freya in this and just looks stunning. And then Adele, who is Button and Pip, has made the Adele top in it. And I just want to shamelessly copy her because it looks so gorgeous. So that's the fabric I'd really like to make mine in. But I need to just see if I can get the fit right first before I go ahead and do that. Then I have made one more thing and that is this. This gorgeous handbag. This is the Crescent Tote by Noodlehead and I absolutely love this. So if you know I work at First for Fabrics and in recent months I've been putting together lots of bag making kits. So we've been selling kits that include the pattern and then everything you need to make a particular bag. And one of the bag kits I put together was this one and I really loved it. And when I was putting it together, I think I mentioned at work how much I loved it. And then on my birthday, Julie and Kaylee at work presented me with a bag kit to make it, which was just so, so lovely. And this week I got this sewn up and I love it so much. The pattern's described as a petite tote. I don't think that's petite. I think it's really roomy. You can fit a lot in there. I mean, I could put it over my head to show you, but I'm not going to do that. I just love it so much. It's got a zip pocket here, which is all lined. It's got a zip pocket on the inside. It's got a lovely label in there. And then it's got these beautiful handles. And I'm just so thrilled with it. And Sam said it looks very professional. So I was happy with that review. <laughs> so I love that. I, as soon as I finished it, wanted to make another one. I haven't even started that even you know, I haven't thought about the fabrics for that or anything, but it's a sign of a good project, I think, a successful project if you straight away want to make another one. I really, really love it. And it wasn't a difficult sew. It only took me, it took me an afternoon and then I finished it off that night. So a few hours in total, not a huge amount of time. And I'm just thrilled with it. It was a nice change from garment sewing, actually. I really enjoyed it. First for Fabrics have lots more bag kits which are being launched this Saturday night. It's only for people who have UK postal addresses, I'm afraid, because we don't post overseas. But there are lots more bag kits coming this Saturday evening. It's so a Saturday the 27th of January. So if you do want to get your hands on one, that's where you need to be, 9pm on the First for Fabrics website. There are lots. We've put together lots this time round to try and cater for everyone. So I'm really happy with what I've got sewn up. They are my makes for January so far and I'm happy with that. I do have a couple of new fabrics which I'm just going to share with you. So the first two I actually picked up on Instagram on people's DStash accounts. This one is an incredible Lady McElroy viscose jersey. And it's this lovely print. I've got this in the cotton lawn, I think. It's kind of halfway made into a Tilly and the Button Seren dress, but I'm not sure if that'll still fit me. I need to get it out and see, or see if I can change it into something else because I started making that pre-pregnancy. So I don't know if, if it'll work for me anymore. Anyway, I love the print. And then I saw it on a D-Stash account the other day. I think there's like 80 centimetres here, which I just thought was perfect for the Tammy Handmade Naya t-shirt, which you know is one of my faves. And this will just be absolutely perfect for that. Then the other one I picked up was this gorgeous knit fabric, which I've eyed up for ages. I think it was Hey So Sister that had this originally. It's a lovely like jacquard knit fabric with all of these red apples on. And yeah, I loved it at the time, but didn't buy it. And again, when it popped up on Instagram the other day on a D-Stash account for a really good price, I thought, I'm having that. I think I want to make either a sweater dress or a cardigan. 
there's about a meter and a half and it's nice and wide so I've definitely got enough for either of those projects yes I love that one then this might seem a bit random because I've bought some soft shell now I've never been interested in soft shell fabric before however a combination of two things happened I watched a video by Sarah from Super Bale Sews last week all about a jacket that she had made in soft shell and I loved it. Then, as if it was some sort of serendipitous thing, Fabric Godmother uploaded some amazing soft shell fabrics and this one just had my heart immediately. So it's this gorgeous like cloud sky design but in pinks and purples and it's just beautiful i love it the backing of it is navy fleece it's really soft it's really lovely at the time i was unsure whether i was going to make that jacket or whether i was going to make the pogo nip by friday pattern company so the pogo nip pullover however i was chatting to ruan and rachel last night and I talking through my thoughts and they definitely agreed that it should be the jacket so the jacket is the Andes jacket by itch to stitch and it's a zip up hooded jacket designed specifically for soft shell fabric so that is going to be perfect Sarah's video is great so I will link to that down below so you can go and watch the video if you're interested in that pattern she talks in detail about her make and it really sold it to me and I really want to make it in that fabric I think that'll be a perfect combination so yes that arrived this week then the other new fabric I've got is actually also one of my sewing plans for this week which I was going to talk about so I'll just share them now so at work we got in some Dashwood Studios cotton lawns and cotton poplins and I just could not stop looking at this one and as soon as I saw it I thought a Friday Pattern Company Donny shirt in this would be gorgeous just paired with a pair of black skinny jeans I thought it would be really nice I looked at it and looked at it every time I was at work I looked at it so then I just thought I'm gonna have to have it aren't I <laughs> so it is this one which I just think is incredible the black background with all of those pops of color is just so so nice now I'm not a huge fan of wearing cotton however this quality and softness and loveliness I think I'll be absolutely fine so as a Donny shirt I think it's going to be perfect and I can't stop thinking about it so this is what I want to sew next however again chatting to my girls last night I talked about the fact I want to make this but that I also had a work in progress that I really need to get done and Ruan said very sensibly treat yourself to sewing the Donny shirt when you complete your work in progress. So that is what I'm going to do. Thank you Ruan for that little push. It was the correct thing to say and it's exactly what I needed. I'm going to finish my work in progress and then I'm going to get started on this because I really want this. I really want this soon but I know I need to get that other project finished. So that is what I'm going to do. The other thing that I'd like to sew up in the coming week is my new craft house everyday waistcoat and I'm going to pair that with another Bernadette skirt like the one that I'm wearing. So the fabric that I'm going to be using for that outfit is this one. It's a needle cord. I shared this in my So Hayley Jane unboxing. It's this lovely vintage style floral needle cord. I've got two and a half meters of narrow width fabric, but I think for the waistcoat and for this mini version of the Bernadette skirt, it will be plenty. So I'm planning to make that as a little outfit. So I'd like to get that cut out and ideally sewn up this week. I've got two of my Sew Tune socials, one on Wednesday afternoon and then one all day Sunday next week. So I'm hoping that over the course of those two, I'll be able to get those projects completed. 
And then the last thing that I wanted to mention before I head off is a YouTube channel that I've really enjoyed watching this week and it is Sisters of Stitchcraft. So this is a sewing vlog which has been set up by two lovely friends, Dee and Kelly, and I've watched all of their videos this week. I think they've got five on their channel and I've really enjoyed getting to know them. They have a gorgeous friendship and they have a really lovely presenting style. So I love the chemistry that Dee and Kelly have and they remind me a lot of myself and my Northern Soul sisters and the friendship we have. Although Dee and Kelly have been friends for a very, very, very long time, they just have this gorgeous connection, which is like myself, Ruan and Rachel have, and they're really warm and lovely to watch. And I would encourage you to go and watch them. So I will link to their channel down below and please go over and subscribe and enjoy their content because I certainly did. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you've enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up. I really enjoy seeing when people like the video because it just gives me a little warm feeling in my heart. So yes, if you could give the video a thumbs up, that would be really lovely. If you could comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you again soon in my next video. I hope you're all really well and happy sewing. Bye. And I will look forward to having a couple of glasses of <laughs> I've been really I took 10 inches off the 10 inches no so I just took 10 in uh, I keep saying 10 inches this is the crescent tote by need no it's not so the fabric I'm going to be using for that is this one that I shared in my so